to school, and that is the opposite of that. Caught on camera for the past two weeks, our team has been monitoring an intersection on Glen McConnell after parents raised concerns about school buses running red lights. It's happening at a light at Wildcat Boulevard. That's the intersection buses take to get to West Ashley High School. Kennedy Buck is working for you this morning and brought these concerns to school officials. She joins us live from that intersection. Kennedy, what did these school officials tell you? Mel, Charleston County School District officials tell me they were made aware of an incident and they tell me that the school bus driver company first student addressed it and resolved the problem. But parents that I spoke with tell me something still needs to change. I mean, they're they're not obeying a traffic light like they're going through a red light with our kids. We don't do that. This is video taken by our team after we received a tip that school buses have been seen running a red light on Glen McConnell and Wildcat Boulevard. Community members are less than impressed. Like you showed me in the last part, I mean, there was plenty of time to stop and it makes it worse because more cars, more other cars go next to them because they're shielded. They think, oh, they're going, I'm gonna go. So it's just perpetuating a big problem. Kalani Shaney is a mother of three, and she says she sees a school bus run this red light weekly, which makes her wonder if anyone is holding these drivers accountable. I mean, what can you do? You just, you just watch and go, oh, great, my kid's on that bus. You know, you call, you let them know, you can go on the First View app, you can report that way, but nothing really, nothing typically comes back to you when it comes to these bus problems that have been going on over here. We then showed video to another West Ashley mom and it made her question what training bus drivers go through. I think it's really just slowing down and maybe just maybe a little training with the bus drivers just to make sure that they are fully aware of you know the job that they're doing and keeping you know the children's interest in their safety and in, in mind. Charleston County School District bus drivers are employed through the company First Student. And on its website, the company notes student safety is a priority several times. So we asked them how they were handling the drivers who put students at risk on the road. They sent us a statement saying, quote, the Charleston County School District notified us of a report that a school bus did not stop at a traffic light on Glen McConnell Parkway near West Ashley High School. We reviewed the information with CCSD and have addressed it with all drivers who drop off and pick up students at the school. Parents hope to see a change before it's too late. Maybe, maybe make sure you don't hurt somebody's kids or your own or yourself. You know, take your time. It's not, it's not worth it. They just built a big, beautiful intersection. You know, traffic's moving better. It's moving better when there's not accidents, so don't cause one. <laughs> Charleston Police Department tells me they have not been alerted of this problem, but they do tell me that running a red light will cost you a $180 fine and four points against your license. I also submitted a Freedom of Information Act to the police department to see how many tickets have been given out to um, Charleston school bus drivers who have been running red lights over the past few years, and we're still waiting for that number. Working for you, Kennedy Buck, News 4.